Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is more like a follow-up video. I think the title was the strongest air duster I found on Amazon. That video was really, really popular. So thank you very much for all your support. But it raised a few other questions. For example, why choose this one? Some other viewers saying that, well, I use a hair dryer. So I thought, okay, you know what? I got all this stuff lying around in the house. Why not make a video and answer some of your questions? I can tell you about this one because I tested it, but there is hundreds of different models on Amazon. So which one should you get? I do not know. And that's why I make this kind of video. So you guys can, you know, decide for yourself. So this one here was about 45 pounds and it's marketed as 60,000 RPM and to be honest with you, is rubbish. I'm going to test it on myself. This is my human meat test subject. Okay, so four is the maximum. And if you look at my arm right here, it kind of needs a pinpoint uh, bend on my arm right here. It does have a light, but it doesn't really do much. Now this one here, we had we had about like five or six years now. And you know what? Again, it's a fantastic piece of kit. It still makes noise, but it's a very low humming noise. And we use it every day now. Even the filter housing is kind of like worn out. We still use it every day. So it does move my skin a bit. But what it does is it moves a lot of air in a big volume. So I guess, you know, if you have sawdust and a big area and you want to use it to blow things around, it will work. But it won't take off the dust on the surface of, you know, a, a PCB board, which kind of like stuck on. Now move on to this one here, which I recommended for everyone in my previous video. So low, medium, high. You can see that? That is the power of the air duster. I mean, it's not going to hurt me or anything like that. I just want to show you what it does. So it moves my skin like, you know, a lot more. So when you blow dust on PCB and stuff like that, it will kind of like push the dust away. And because it's so strong, when it goes into the corner, it actually blows air into it and then dust come out from the other side of the fan. If you have a workshop and you have a compressor, this is the go-to thing for, you know, dusting out thing. But it's so noisy that I haven't even switched on yet. So I'm going to switch on now. <laughs> So this air dusting thing is at 100 psi, so I know it's going to hurt a bit, but never mind. I just want to show you guys what a proper compressor can do. Ouch. So, you know, yes, you can't really compare the two like side by side like that. You can see that. This one is a lot stronger, but not everyone has a compressor and it's damn noisy. And you got, no matter how long a hose you have, you can't really carry it around to someone else's house. For example, if you want to clean someone else's computer. So the last one is a bit of fun. So I love my Makita 2. And this one here works on two batteries. So it's a 36 volt thing. It push a lot of air out. And to be honest with you, I think this is one of the best uh, air blower uh, for the garden that I have come across. I use here, you know, in my workshop to blow sawdust away and obviously in the garden for blowing the leaves into my neighbor's garden. But anyway, so let's show you what this can do. <laughs> to be honest with you, if I have my computer in the garden with the case, side of the case open, I could just whip this one out and blow all the dust away. Probably will tip the computer over as well. So this is way overkill. This one here, I have it for about a year now. And actually I bring it to work as well, where, you know, clean out all the computers and shelves and stuff like that. Compared to cans, obviously it's a lot more cheaper because you don't have to keep replacing those compressor can. And it works really well. As usual, I hope you find my information useful. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadgets. Bye-bye.